Okay, welcome to pdfsupply.com. Today we're going to be testing a 9030 CPU 374. I have part number here, IC693 CPU 374. Ours happens to be an HW revision, but the revision two letters is not going to matter for the test for your purpose. I've just plugged that into a five slot rack that is the IC693 CHS397 and we're using a IC693 PWR330 power supply high capacity which is recommended for the CPU374 so we recommend that you are using that at least for the CPU374 and I'm going to go ahead and turn that on the first thing I want to point out is that we get an OK light, a solid OK light. If, if you don't get a solid OK light there's likely an issue with your CPU and if you don't have the OK light, you're going to get lost at the very beginning of this test. So make sure that you have that. Next thing is we're going to connect up to the software. We'll connect up to the CPU using the software. We have Prophecy Machine Edition. I have a blank file here, CPU 374. For this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and open the main rack, the one that now we're looking at the physical rack that I just showed you and make sure that there's no other devices in the slots, no other modules. And right click on the CPU, go to configure and I've got the key switch and run stop uh, enabled. I'll get back to that in a moment. Ethernet. You want to make sure that this address is set up. You want to make sure it's an address that, as I've done, make sure it's something that won't conflict with anything going on any other modules in the uh, building uh, on the network because when we ping this we want to make sure that we're only pinging our device for our test purpose that the Ethernet is working. So I've chosen an address here that's like that and next thing I can do is get connected up using this lightning bolt icon top left and I want to point out down below there's a status bar that you want to monitor. This is in monitor mode stop disabled configuration equal logic equal stop disabled is that the outputs are disabled and next we're going to go into program mode which is this green hand icon top left corner down below again programmer mode and you want to first go to online commands and uh, target online commands clear controller fault IO fault these are the two fault tables you don't want to clear any of the you don't want to clear all memory or any of these values because you could be um, destroying something that you have saved so don't do that just the fault tables yes once that's done we can go ahead and hit the download and start active target button or download and run the first thing it's going to ask us is what exactly do we want to download that would be the hardware configuration and motion and logic we don't want to download anything else. There's no program here that we're, and there's nothing that we want to put to flash memory. So that's okay. And the outputs enabled. Yes. Now, normally this would go right into run mode, but as I mentioned before, I have the uh, key run stop switch enabled. So if you notice this feedback zone, the controller is not in run mode after you attempted to start it. This may be to a run stop switch position application. That's correct. So now we want to go from off to on, and this is testing that our memory switch is working. And of course it goes into run mode, and you'll also notice that it's gone into run mode in the software. Programmer run enabled. Outputs are enabled. Configuration equal logic equal. So that's exactly what you want to see. It should read just like that. And the lights on the, on the, P, on the power supply, PWR330, should read like you see here. And now that that's in run mode, the next thing we want to test is what we've set up here, this Ethernet. I'm going to go to my start menu, command prompt, And we're going to go ahead and ping the device with command ping 
And I'm going to put the address in that the numerical address that I had established. And I've got a local Ethernet cable here plugged in. This goes into start with port one. And you want to look for this LAN LED on the CPU to start blinking. Don't initiate a ping until this is blinking because you're not connected yet. You won't get a response. Now that it is blinking and we are connected, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And right away we have four responses, four out of four. So that port is working fine. I'm going to go ahead and test the next port, port two. Again, this has to start blinking. I'm going to hit the up key brings the same command and same address. Hit enter. And there we go. One, two, three, four out of four. That's perfect. Next thing is I want to test my test procedure by unplugging the Ethernet cable. Now I have nothing connected to it. And what I'm looking for here is I, I want to make sure that when I ping that same address that I don't get a response. And that tells me that I wasn't pinging another device that somebody may have established without my knowledge. I'm going to go ahead and hit the up key, up arrow key once again, and hit enter. And the result should be four out of four unanswered replies. Or as the command prompt words, it request timed out. Four out of four. And that concludes the Ethernet test. The Ethernet's working fine. Next thing I would recommend doing, if you do think that you have a problem with your CPU 374, is let it run overnight. Uh, even let it run over a weekend. And what you want to do is, when you come in the next morning or after the weekend, you want to check to make sure that it's still in run mode, as you see here. If it falls out of run mode, what you want to do is go to Target, Diagnostics, and when your diagnostic screen come up, it will in the event that you did have a failure, it'll tell you exactly what the problem is. Here's the fault table. This is what you'll look at if, in, in the event that the CPU does fall out of run mode. and It'll list any problems here. We have a couple errors, but they're, they're easily explainable. This is because I've just unplugged our uh, network cable, and these two tell me that I don't have a program, which is all correct. I'm going to go ahead and clear that information. It's not valid. But like I said, if you do have a problem, if it does fall out of run mode, it'll usually have a reason. It'll list it in here. You can click on these, and it'll open it up, and it'll explain exactly what's going on with the CPU and hopefully give you the information that you're looking for. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.